In this video, I'm going to walk you through the workflow scheduler trigger. The scheduler trigger starts a workflow on a clock, meaning it works in hourly, daily, weekly, even monthly intervals, or even on one-off dates, and not from a contact event like you may be used to. It's ideal for reports, integrations, webhooks, and any other contactless automation. So maybe you're running an agency and you need to remind your sales team every single morning to look at the sales pipeline, for example, or you just want to assign a daily task every single morning to a specific team member. Whatever it is, this trigger can help you do this. Let me show you how you can set this up. So first, let's click on automations on the left, workflows at the top, click create new workflow or edit an existing one in question. Then from here, click add new trigger and type scheduler in the search bar and the event will show up. Select it and here you can see the different intervals. You can select hourly, daily, weekly, monthly or even cron. So let's select daily. Then you can also narrow it down what time would you like this workflow to be triggered. Let's say your workday starts at 8 a.m. So we select eight because we want this trigger to fire at 8 a.m. every single day. Then further down at advanced settings, you can skip the weekends because typically companies don't work on a weekend. And then you can also select when to stop this particular trigger. You will just click on the calendar icon here. The calendar will pop up and you can select a date. For now, we leave this blank and then we can click check right here and it calculates all the times when this trigger fires every Monday, 8 a.m., Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, 8 a.m. Perfect. That's how we wanted it. Let's hit save trigger. And let's say now we want to send the task to a particular user within our system who is responsible for the support, for example, in our company. So click the plus icon, select add task. And here you can say the title, check the pipeline. Please check the urgent support pipeline first. Let's assign it to a user and let's say it's due right now. So that's the first thing this person is going to do once they start work at 8 a.m. Hit save action and make sure to publish the top right corner, move it from draft to publish and then hit save for it to trigger. You could also, for example, send a daily operations report to Slack via the actions every morning at 9 a.m. skipping weekends or every second Friday, you could send billing reconciliation at 6 p.m every single month, or maybe you want to sync data every four hours via a webhook. Whatever it is, this trigger can help you with it. Please again note this trigger is contactless only and also allows one trigger only. So you cannot set several different triggers. You can only set the scheduler trigger if you choose the scheduler trigger. So the scheduler cannot coexist with other triggers in a workflow. I hope you like this feature and I will see you in the next one.